Hey, baby. It's me again with another voicemail. I can't remember how many of these I've left you. <laughs> it's like you're playing hard to get. But why? You know, you were never like this. You always picked up my calls. Even when you were busy, you would pick up, told me to call back later, and then hung up. But now, it's straight to voicemail. It's like you don't even care what I have to say. I know you still care for me. I just know it, because you're still my baby. The peanut butter to my jelly. I really hope you hadn't forgotten about me. About us. Because I haven't. I mean, how could I? You were the best thing that ever happened to me. You're the most beautiful and amazing person I have ever met. The way you look at me. The way you smile. And the way you touch my hand. It ignites a fire in my soul. My heart beats for you. And I want you to know that I love you. You silly, wonderful human being. I don't know how to put it into words. But when I'm with you, everything feels right. Remember when we used to cuddle every night? We would lock our eyes together and talk about everything you would tell me how much you loved my voice and how soothing it was then I would tell you how much I loved your charming smile and pretty much everything about you sometimes I would run my hands through your hair and give you head scratches <laughs> you hated it at first but then you grew to love it and would ask me to give you head scratches whenever possible because it helps you relax and sleep better. And have you forgotten that, my love? I haven't. It's still very fresh in my memory. Please don't let one bad memory ruin what we had. I know you're better than this. Why would you let such a silly mistake linger like this? Just move on, my love. You know that my love for you is everlasting and strong. And that I will always cherish and adore you, my precious love. You know that I'm hopelessly in love with you. Almost to the point of obsession. And so why? Why did you act so surprised when I acted out of impulse when your co-worker was touching you all lovey-dovey like that? You knew I would get jealous, and yet you acted like everything was fine. You knew I was there and watching you, and you still didn't pull back when your co-worker was touching all over you. You wanted me to see that, didn't you? You wanted me to get jealous, right? And that's what you wanted, right? I know you love it when I get jealous because you love the fact that I'm obsessed with you. You pretend like you hate it whenever I'm being super clingy to you. But deep down, I know you fucking love it, baby. So why don't we move on from that incident, huh? It's all in the past, and I've already moved on from that. What do you want me to do? Apologize to your co-worker. They know what they did. Plus, they knew you were taken. Okay, for the record, I didn't threaten your co-worker, okay? It was merely a warning. I was just sending a clear message to your co-worker and everyone else nearby that you're mine and mine alone. So they better back off or I would do unspeakable things to them. Technically, not a threat. Baby, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I will never threaten your co-workers again. I'm sorry. 
Please, come back to me. I missed you. I missed you a lot. You were so good to me, and I took that for granted. You were so charming, responsible, and thoughtful to me. So forgive me when I get a little bit jealous when someone tries to get close to you. All I could do is sit there and worry that someone else was seeing what I saw in your adorable eyes, and that they were going to take you away from me. Please, let me back in your life. I know you missed me too. Don't pretend like you never loved me. Because you did. My, my voice. My gaze. My gaze. My skin. My lips. You loved everything about me just as much as I loved everything about you. So, baby, how about we move on from this one little incident and get together? You'll give me a second chance, won't you? <laughs> Why do you look so scared? Did you not expect me? I'd been leaving those voicemails for so long, I just figured I'd come by and see if you were even listening. Good to know that you are. In fact, you seem to be so enthralled with my little fantasy for you that you didn't even notice that I was walking in. <laughs> it's okay. You haven't been sleeping alone for a while. I've been here to claim what was rightfully mine. You don't mind that, do you? And after all, you listening to this was confirmation enough for me. You wanted me for so long. You've just been playing hard to get. Well, we don't need to worry about those silly little games anymore now, do we? Now that I have you right where I want you. Hmm. Now I'll come here back in a way. Afraid little old me is gonna do something to you. You're telling me that you didn't miss the touch of my skin against yours? What we had? What I can give you now? Give up, dear. It's okay. I promised you already. I said I'd be better this time. I told you that I wouldn't be as controlling. And I told you that I'd even turn down the jealousy a bit. You're incredible and I'd never want to lose you. So let's not throw it all away. I can change. I would change so much for you. I'd do anything so long as you ask me. So, let me back into your life. You know that you want to. You know that you're longing for my warm embrace. You know that you want to put your lips on mine again. You want to feel my hands caress your face again? <sighs> Let's put an end to this meaningless breakup. Come back into my arms. Stop hiding from your feelings. I don't want to leave another voicemail for you. So let's just skip that. We'll make it official.